Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay, today we're going to be using the the Dodge Viper. I like this car. Uh, I'm sad that Dodge, I think, uh, discontinued this car, didn't they? I remember seeing it on the internet, you know, that reliable resource of, like, Facebook and Instagram memes. Okay, yeah, so... Yeah, I'm just gonna do something. Uh, I gotta try and get this reputation up to the max level, because uh, I can't believe they honestly thought it was a good idea to hide a load of events right up until you've at maximum reputation because it leaves you with a gutted world map where it's like oh okay i guess this because to be fair this whole section is like you can ignore this and beat the game you can never drive at night and beat the game i'm saying fight to this guy <laughs> Yeah, I really like this car. I thought I would buy myself something like more expensive than my usual cars I buy, so I thought it'd be fun. We'll see how it goes. Like, if you're like me, at the beginning, you tried night mode in your first car of the game, when the game is like, do night mode, and then you realize night mode is fucking hard, uh, at when you've got a really slow car at the beginning and you it's quite tense and you don't know where anything is on the map and then you don't play night mode for the rest of the story mode because you're like I don't really need to except when the story makes me to and as a result your rep is really low because it's completely something you can ignore which is like until the game says you need to be a rep level of X or Y, then you get it up to the bottom end and then just do it again and ignore it again. Which means you miss out on shit. I swear every time I go off that edge. So yeah, I like this car, I like the way it handles, it's pretty comfortable, it's a little slidey but not too slidey. It's got a good balance. It's not too tight around the corners that you know you can't get round them. It's good. And like most of the cars in my game now, I off-screen grind until I can get like elite plus parts for everything, because yeah, you can just do that. Uh, we'll do high heat races at some point to unlock the ultimate parts for everything. But we'll look at that later. Because that's a pretty neat mechanic that unfortunately again is completely optional. So you can just ignore the high end of this game. Smash into the side of that because yeah. Why would you make everything that's like the best parts of this game, which is like the best upgrades? Like, I, I mean, okay, in Most Wanted you could get unique parts and stuff too, which is, okay, fine, but like, I win. So at the moment it's quite low heat, so they were not particularly hard to throw off. They are still behind me, but it's like, are they really? It's just one cop kind of going, ah, uh, stop, so it's not like a threat right now. As we will see in a minute, I have outrun him. Check everywhere. So yeah, this is a horribly unbalanced game mode because uh, at the low level it is just so hard that you cannot physically outrun the police even at low level. Uh, but the moment you get a car like this, uh, any car with elite parts basically, like over a 300 performance rating, you can just outrun pretty much everything until it's like level 4 or 5 heat and then it's like a level harder again. So it's not, you know, it's not the most balanced thing. You got owned. Are you actually chasing them? I don't like quitting, but I guess I'm the only one. Oh. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> it's doing that skipping thing again. 
Uh, but yeah, like, uh, Culp was basically like, no, I'm going to chase you. You can't do this event. So I just drove into him and crashed him. I was like, no. <laughs> They really seem to enjoy getting their ankles and calves burned on my, like, exhaust flames. Because on this, when they've got the side exhausts like that, they stand, the NPCs stay exactly where they normally are anyway, and you're just like, what? <laughs> like, I could talk for an hour about how adding customizable player characters to a racing game is potentially one of the biggest waste of game development and design and for racing games and how it always ends up going into the uncanny valley and just turns into not enough customizable options and a waste of everyone's time because it's like you can see it in this game but the worst example I've seen is Test Driver Limited 2 where it was like why is this even a thing? Like, why can I do this? This is pointless. You know, like, it's completely pointless for me to be able to do this. Broke my window. I, I can't even make a guy that looks like me, so I just made a random, like, Asian lady with, like, short hair and like a leather jacket on because I was like I guess that that could work like that looks like a human like I, it was just like random yeah this feels kind of like they are behind me but like they're not really got up much of a chance unless I crash again, so... I mean, it's me, so I'll probably crash again. Uh, there you go. <laughs> so yeah, I like this Viper. Uh, if you want me to drive a different car or have any recommendations, you can write it in the comments. Because <laughs> uh, I'm just picking ones at random and sometimes I pick a car and I'm like, ooh, this car does not feel fun. And then other times I'm like, oh, this car feels really good, what a random surprise. So, yeah. Having a little think, where should I go next? Go do this one. Time skipped again. Circuit race, sprint race, okay. Yeah, sure. We really need to fix the car again. <laughs> So I feel like I'm always driving American muscle in this car, uh, in this car, in this game. Uh, that's not deliberate, that's just random. Uh, I do like muscle cars, but like, I also like classic JDM sometimes. Depends on the JDM, like it's really specific. Like I like the Nissan two-seater Fair Lady Z from like, what, the 80s or 90s? Uh, I don't mind the modern 350Z and 370Z, they're okay. Uh, I like the NSXR, the original NSXR, and I like the RX-7. I like the ones with the flippy lights, <laughs> basically. But the NSX, I really like the way it's like, the original is like designed, it's really cool. Um, yeah, they're pretty cool. Uh, used to like the Toyota MR2, but like kind of got bored of it. I think the Supra is overhyped, but it's it's okay. Uh, yeah, Mitsubishi FTO is kind of funny, kind of fun. And some of the classic, more classic Skylines, but and the Sylvia, the Bluebird. Uh, but yeah, like 
there isn't a, there is those cars in this game, but I, I'm not really sure if I like how they handle, but we'll look at that later. It's just, they feel really underpowered even when you fully, like, do them. You feel like you've got no, like, forward, like, no push, no grunt. It's just, oh, you need to just constantly be mashing NOS to get it to go forwards, it feels. It's, We'll, we'll look at that later, because I was experimenting with the NSX in this game, which is a shame, because uh, I like the NSX, and it normally drives quite well in most car games, so... Uh, this feels really good. They did really good with the Viper. Maybe because it's a Western-made game, they wanted to make the American cars cooler, I don't know. I don't know if it was actually made in the USA, or if it was made by a company in, like, Europe, and shipped out by EA, because let's face it, EA does a lot of shipping out to other companies. And then screwing over those studios. So destroying Criterion assholes. And hundreds of others. Eh. So many cars out at night. What are where are these guys going? Like, ah, I just feel like driving my sedan slowly in the way. Or my tow truck or my infinity ambulances. There's so many ambulances, what the hell? Feel like cruising around, you know? It's just. I mean, I guess that's what we're doing. Ah! But, like, where are they going? This... A lot of night shifts. I used to drive my car fast out of my night shifts, man. <laughs> That's the thing. I used to, uh, when I was living in uh, Bristol, uh, I used to drive. Well, I kind of lived in between Bath and Bristol, and I used to drive to my work at the airport. I used to work at the International Airport. I was done it again. I cannot drive. Just go in there. <laughs> Uh, I used to drive from where I was living to, like, <laughs> fuck, just fix this car, to, like, from about Barfish all the way into Bristol Airport, and in the middle of the night to go to the airport to do my security job, because I was the airport security and that used to be really good fun to drive on these empty country roads at like, you know, three in the morning, two in the morning. Uh, you'd be driving to work in, and it's like pitch black and you're driving these winding country roads and I had a Skoda Superb diesel, turbo diesel, and it was uh, really good fun to just try and rally it around everywhere but like there was twice I had to slam on my brakes I'll just go down here then get out there and find that damn car no don't find the car you will never find this yeah, the two times I slammed on my brakes whilst doing that, and it was like uh, a deer just stood in the road, and I was like, what the fuck, and it was just staring at me. And then a badger just standing in the road, and I was like, oh my god, a badger, and it just slammed on my brakes, and I was like, <laughs> like, it was nuts, I used to love doing that. Oh, they're right there, fuck. They're gonna try and catch me. I'm trying to think, I want to go back, do do another thing, but they're like there, so, oh, they're turning around. Uh, 
Yeah, that was a pretty good fun drive, but there were several times where that shitty shift system they had where you were working for like multiple hours at a time, sleep deprived, uh, and it wasn't really their fault, it's just because airports, man. Uh, you'd be working from like late until late or you'd be working from early in the morning till about midday and all of those morning shifts I nearly passed out on the road several times and I was just like swerving around and there's just like this traffic then and I was just like fuck man this shit this job's gonna fucking kill me and like you know my uh my ex-girlfriend nearly killed herself actually uh because of this like she used to work there and she was just, she passed out behind the wheel at like 50 miles an hour and smashed into the back of another person's car and totaled her car because they were just treating us like this thing of like getting at like three or four in the morning and just work until midday. And of course, like your body doesn't adjust if it's like three shifts of that followed by three shifts of late at night until like, you know, midnight past midnight kind of thing once you know, or like a night shift of 10 p.m. till 7 in the morning sometimes. That shit, if it's that random and then you get a day or two off, it's like your body doesn't have time to reset. You really have to do one or the other and keep it in rhythm and your body was never allowed to get into rhythm and it fucks so many of us up and it fucked up our relationships a lot because it meant you ended up basically sleeping with other staff because they're the only people who had regular time off like you because it's free three night shifts, three morning shifts, and then it was like two days off, and there was never a weekend, basically. Almost never, like twice a year. And you're thinking like, well, I can't have a relationship with someone else who doesn't have this shift, and that means you end up being with the people who you're with the whole time at weird times, and it really fucks up your sex drive too. All of them were horny as fuck. <laughs> like, you want to know something weird about airport security? They're all horny as fuck, and you know why? Because they've come in, and normally the time that you guys are at home, and you're kind of like, it's three in the morning, and you're kind of horny, or it's like morning wood time, we're working, and <laughs> we're like there, and your body's like, hey, 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 it's time to get freaky, and you're at work, and like, you're like, the fuck, and everyone else is weird, and creepy and you're like kind of out of it and your body's like in a surreal state of like sleep deprivation so it's just this weird you're all in a weird suggestive and horny sense and like <laughs> the amount of guys having affairs with people they worked with or like just sleeping around the staff was fucking nuts just an inside look at airport security is fucking nuts, you, you know, because you're having to touch people all the time too for body checking, and it just kind of like, it feels weird. Like, it feels like you're being gaslit the whole time. It's like, it's a random time of the day or night, you haven't slept for 12 hours, and there's these like random girls hitting on you, and then you go home with like a, your go with the girl with your girl, with the girlfriend, uh, after work, and instead of actually going home and having sex, you just go home and, like, pass out next to each other because you've been awake for 12 hours straight all night and all morning. And then you wake up later and you're like, it's 3 p.m. and you're like, where the fuck am I? Why is this not my bed? Why am I in a random Vietnamese girl's house? <laughs> like... <clears throat> fucking messed up man and the people working there are completely after a few years they're just completely gone they're just like I don't even know where I am half the time like sleep deprivation is fucking nuts man <laughs> yeah so yeah this car's pretty cool I like my uh, custom paint job I did if I say so myself took me a while to line up all the stripes probably <laughs> Ah, why are there so many slow-moving ambulances? They're not even going anywhere. <laughs> ah. Let's just hit every car. Another ambulance, seriously. So yeah, we got to like level 48. That's pretty good for one session. And next time... Jeez, oh, what time skip was that? Fucking hell. Thanks, EA. 
Thanks. Only happens for this game. That looks like fun. Nice work. Next time we'll do a different muscle car. I'll get onto the NSX later. Once I worked out how to make it more powerful, and I have to engine swap it, which you can do in this game. 